Hello guys. It's been a few months since I made my first video on the topic of MPCHC with Madfear setup and I really appreciate the positive feedback I received from you guys. So this video I'm making is to update the first part of the previous two part video that I had made. Uh, since there are some changes I would like to make. So here I'll cover the installation of MPCHC, Madfear and XY subfilters. The second part of the video which was about setting up Madfear settings is still the same cause there hasn't been that many changes in Madfear actually there haven't been any changes in Madfear so so that remains the same. One quick thing I'd like to mention if you have followed my previous tutorial I think it would be best if you uninstall everything and start fresh just to avoid any conflicts that might arise but before that you should back up your Madfear settings. Now if you have already followed my previous tutorial up to the part 2 I mean setting up the Madfear then you should already have this file this registry file that contains all your all the backup of your Madfear settings but in case you don't have the backup of your Madfear settings or you have lost it I will quickly show you how to backup your Madfear settings so you need to go to registry editor type reg edit in windows start press enter and registry editor opens in registry editor you need to go to h key current user software under software scroll down to madshi now under this madshi you'll find the madveer and mad hc control folders those contains all your settings what we are going to do is we are going to back up this madshi folder to back up all our madvir settings so we are going to right click on madshi folder click on export select a location where we would like to back up our registry settings give it a name and save it and we have our madvir backup now that we have our madvir settings backed up we are ready to completely remove our previous installation so we'll start with going to add or remove programs find mpchc and uninstall that hit yes do you want to delete mpchc settings yes and mpchc is now uninstalled but we still have some files to delete so we'll open our explorer go to c drive program files where we had our mpchc installed see we still have the old madvir and xy subfilters folder we'll go into the madvir folder find the uninstall.batch file right click on it and run it as administrator we'll wait for the uninstallation succeeded message and close it then we'll go to the xy subfilter folder and also run uninstall xy subfilter batch file as an administrator and we'll see this message which means xy subfilter has been uninstalled now we'll go back to mpchc directory we just simply delete this whole mpchc directory and now we are ready to start fresh since making that previous video i found out that there's a more updated version of mpchc that is being maintained by the same person who maintains the lab filters so this time we'll be using the that version of the mpchc cause using that will mean we'll have the latest lab filters inbuilt which means we don't have to download the lab filters separately and set them up separately which is a big time saver so let's download everything and get back to setting up
okay so now that we have all three parts downloaded let's go to setting up first we'll install mpchc we'll just go with default installation at the default directory install this and we're not going to launch mpchc yet so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the mpchc icon and click open file location and open the directory where mpchc is installed now we are going to create a folder called madfear and we'll open the folder and we'll extract the, all the contents of the madfear directory in that folder and to close this and now we'll find out the install batch file here and we'll right click on it and run it as an administrator so that installed the madfear in our system we'll close this and we'll close the madfear folder we do not delete the madfear folder that is why we're installing it in this directory cause if we delete this madfear folder the madfear actually gets deleted completely from our system this does not cop this installation does not copy the file anywhere else so this is our installation the same thing we'll do with xy sub filters we'll create a folder called xy sub filters we'll open it and extract all the files of the extract xy sub filters zip in that folder and we'll also run the installation file as an administrator we'll also see that it is installed and we'll also not delete any of the files here cause this is the files that are actual installation files so now we have everything neatly in our mpchc directory and we can now close this directory so now we can open mpchc we'll check for periodic updates since we are actually getting updates with this version and do you want to reassociate the icons yes we do so give it administration and it does that now we'll hit o on our keyboard to open the options menu now we'll start with the top here at formats by default you can change anything here so first we need to give it administration access run as administrator hit yes again now these are available we first clear all associations then we only associate the video formats with it with mpcs hit apply now for windows 10 we need to set is i'll set the mpcs as default program we can click here and it will tell us it will tell us to go to settings apps and default apps where you can set our default so we'll go to settings go in apps click default apps and here you can select our video player to be mpchc as our default video player and now it is our default video player we'll come back here hit apply now we'll close click ok and we're back with the non administrative version of the setup where going to go down to output here we need to select our video render which is the madfear if we didn't install madfear it would show unavailable here but we have it installed so it is available we'll select that for audio renderer we are keeping it system default for a subtitle renderer we are using xy sub filter so we'll select that here and hit apply after this we are going to drop down to internal filters last time we used external lab filters so we would select, select external lab filter back then but now we are using the internal lab filters since they are already up to date so we'll select internal filters and every file type is already selected so we don't have to do anything here so first thing we'll do is click on video decoder settings 
In video decoder settings, I will always like to enable the system tray icon. Doing that allows me to directly access the video decoder settings when a video file is playing from the system tray. So when a video file is playing, the lab filter settings will show up in the system tray and I can access the settings directly from there, which is a quick time saver. So first thing we'll do is set, our, set up our hardware acceleration. I actually like to use the DXVA copyback with this. So I'll select DXVA copyback and I'll select the formats that my graphics card supports. So if your graphics card does not support the format selected here, it will fall back to software decoding. But here my graphics card supports most of this format. So I'll select them all and select the graphics card that I have and we'll hit apply. Other than that, there are a few things to consider. Like if you have a multi-core CPU, you can and you do not want to use all the cores of your CPU or allocate specific cores for specific tasks. So you can select the threads that you want to allocate to MPC it's your lab filter here. <coughs> Other than that, you can select the field order for interlaced video stream here or the interlacing mode if you want to do some aggressive deinterlacing you can select here but i basically usually leave it at auto because i don't really know, want to mess with settings that i don't need to so there's that and then we have rgb output levels we are here using a pc monitor so which is capable of displaying 0 to 255 rgb range so we are keeping it here but if you are using a television set that is not capable of uh, the full RGB range and is limited RGB that uh, displays the RGB range of 16 as black and 235 as white you will have to select TV here but we are using a PC monitor and most modern TVs actually support the 0 to 255 RGB range so in most cases we will select this then we'll hit apply and basically everything is done here so I'll click ok and get out of that and go into audio decoder settings same thing here we'll enable the system tray icon and then there's one thing to consider here that if you have a receiver say if you have a receiver so you would not want to decode your audio at this level at the software level you want to pass through the digital audio directly to your receiver for the receiver to decode it so you will select the formats that your receiver supports let's say your receiver support dts dolby digital plus dolby 2 hd so you would select that format here and you would hit apply so the audio would get bit streamed to the receiver as digital and then the digital to analog conversion would happen at the receiver and also as well as the decoding of DTS and Dolby Digital or Dolby True HD but here we are using a computer sound card with computer speakers so I'll just decode everything at the software level so I'll untick all of these and hit apply now we are going to mix it at mixing I'll select enable mixing to enable the mixing and select the speaker configuration that I have I have a 5.1 system connected to the computer so I'll select 5.1 but if you have a 2.1 select stereo here I don't like to upscale my stereo sources so I like to keep stereo as stereo so I will say don't mix my stereo sources here and hit apply but if you like to upscale your stereo sources basically uh, duplicating the left and right channel with a mix level on your rear speakers so you get a surround effect you have to untick that but I don't like that effect so I just disable that here and hit ok now we are gonna go to the splitter settings here we'll select our preferred audio and preferred subtitle language 
we'll keep the subtitle selection mode as default and now we need to enter our preferred language for multi audio and multi sub files as three little language code for example for english audio and english subtitle we we'll type eng at the audio field and eng at the subtitle field and hit apply and for example if we would like to select japanese audio as default and keep the subtitle as english as default we'll have to type jpn at the audio field and then eng at the subtitle field and hit apply for the rest of the settings we'll keep everything at default only enable the system tray icon hit apply and select ok so now we are done with lab filters and that's about it that's all there is to install now that we have our mpchc new installation complete to restore our old madfear settings all we have to do is find that registry backup file we created earlier at the start of the video double click it select yes and when it asks permission to add this information to the registry we select yes and ok that is all and now we have all our madfear settings rest completely restored but in case you didn't have madfear previously installed and this is your first time installation of madfear i already have a guide on my channel on how to configure madfear in a step by step process i'll link that video in the description of this video and also in the cards so feel free to check that out and set your madfear according to your needs thank you very much for watching Stay safe and have a great day.